For the first time, we are seeing the quiet inside of the Arlington Carmel, where nine Carmelite nuns live and pray. But their feud with the Fort Worth Diocese Bishop this year has been everything but that, loud and out in the open. He is not welcome on the property. We would take steps to have him removed. That's Matthew Bobo, and he represents the nuns, and he's referring to Bishop Michael Olson, who has taken umbrage with this message on the Carmel's webpage. Quote, she publicly rejected my authority as diocesan bishop and pontifical commissary. This has hurt me as a friend and as the bishop. This is the latest in a feud lasting several months. It started when the nuns filed a civil suit against the bishop, which a Tarrant County judge dismissed, ruled the court had no jurisdiction over it. Reverend Mother Teresa Agnes Gerlach is accused of breaking her vow of chastity with a priest. The bishop testified the Reverend Mother admitted to it and has dismissed her. But that's up for appeal to the Vatican. With the civil case dismissed and a church investigation in progress, things had quieted. Until Matthew Bobo says the bishop made internal demands of the nuns, they claim are beyond his purview. That power is not unfettered and unlimited. It is very specific and it is very narrow. It's been a constant progression of aggressive behavior to isolate them, instill fear in them. The bishop writes, the Arlington Carmel remains closed to public access until such time as the Arlington Carmel publicly disavows itself of these scandalous and schismatic actions of Mother Teresa Agnes. The question comes down to whether the bishop can close the monastery doors to churchgoers. What overrides, ecclesiastical authority or private property rights of a nonprofit? WFAA spoke with Tim Gabrielli. It's a very complex relationship. An associate professor in religious studies at Dayton. He says property rights are really secondary to obedience to the order and Rome. In May, the Pope gave the bishop full governing powers over the matter and the monastery. In saying that the bishop is the particular Pope's representative has actually kind of made the bishop's authority pretty wide. Well, the gates have remained open here. We've seen people come in and out. An attorney for the nuns says a priest has not been assigned to celebrate mass here in over a week. Bobo says the nuns do recognize the bishop's authority, but also feel not allowing a priest to do mass here is spiritual deprivation. It is like food and water to you and I. It is an integral, essential part of their faith. The bishop says by rejecting his authority, Reverend Mother Teresa Agnes and likely the other nuns have incurred late setentia. Which means by the very act of what you've done, you've excommunicated yourself. Or taken yourself outside the church. It's anybody's guess how this all ends. The gates are open and it's unclear if churchgoers are allowed inside. The latest in a long feud between authority and autonomy. In Arlington, I'm Jobin Puniker.